Stardate 9-4-2014. We have crash-landed on a desolate desert planet. The crew was maliciously eaten, carried away, and blown up by what can only be described as creatures from your own nightmare. I am alone and scared. Anyway, welcome to Crash Landing. Crash Landing is a hardcore survival mod pack adventure map. Basically, it is in hardcore mode so that if I die, it's game over. Game over, man. Game over. Um, This map was put together by um, a person named Iskandar. He's done a really fantastic job of combining a bunch of mods together, including modifying how these mods work and changing recipes um, to create a really interesting survival experience. If you've ever played any sort of sky block type map or agrarian skies, if you've watched that series, this is sort of along that sort of same lines. But in addition to worrying about food, in this mod pack, you have to worry about food, you have to worry about water, your hydration, as well as your body temperature. And as if you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, um, you can see your body temperature and you can see your hydration level. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on. And so as you work out in the sun, your body temperature will go up. If you're doing like strenuous activities out in the sun, your body temperature will go way up. There are ways to mitigate that. And we're going to basically go through um, using the hardcore quest mod uh, quest book will basically show us how we can survive in this desolate world so i've only got 10 minutes in the first day to sort of get through everything that i need to get through hopefully i get a little bit of luck um there's there is some random um number stuff that happens while you're you're playing in this pack so uh, um we'll see how things go um i've done a little bit of testing I've been live streaming in the past couple of days um, just on some of my testings and I, I died four or five times live streaming. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. And anyway, well, welcome to Crash Landing and here we go. All right. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to type in HQM Quest. That activates your quest. Let's make sure. Yeah, my sounds are down. That's good. You also want to do this. You want to type in game rule mob griefing with a capital G false. What this means is that mobs won't basically, uh, creepers basically won't blow up your spaceship and other things. This was meant to be turned off, um, but uh, it was just uh, there was just an error in the config file. And so the mod creator has said that, you know, it's going to be turned off in, in newer versions. So go ahead and turn that off. If you don't, Um, It's an extra challenge, um, and you'll have to do some other things to keep yourself safe. But let's get started. Okay, so basically we're going to follow the quest book right through the very beginning and get a few things right away. Basically, it's telling us to grab what we we, (laughs) grab what we can from the wreck and watch out for the fuel. Um, There's fuel leaking beside us because the fuel cell is broken, um, and it's basically going to tell us how we can make water. Right, and so by grabbing our fluid transposers, we're gonna get our first little bit of water here. And it's also basically showing us how the hardcore quest mod works. Okay, so by picking up our transposers by uh, shift right clicking with the crescent hammer, we can basically pick up these and then we can look in our quest book and see that we've completed the quest and we can claim the reward. So now we can get some water. Now you can drink the water just normally, you can just drink bottles of water, it's fine, and it will, you know, increase your hydration and will cool you down. Cold water will cool you down even more than regular water. Um, So you can do that, and that's fine. However, the Camel Pack basically allows you to have four bottles of water and you're just constantly, um, constantly drinking it, hydrating, and it also helps cool you down a little bit. So I highly recommend using the Camel Pack and... Um, you can convert cold water into regular water by heating it in a furnace. So I highly recommend that you end up doing that with your cold water. Um, you could save it for an emergency in case you like, you know, end up stepping in fire and the cold water will help cool you down. So I know that I want to basically get through a bunch of these quests really quickly. 
the first quest that I need to do is I either have to go through the easy route. Now the easy route is definitely easier. You get an oak sapling, which means you'll have chances of getting apples. That gives you some food and 64 bone meal, which is fantastic. Also gives you a shell constructor and an energy cell to power that shell constructor, which has power in it. With the easy route, you'll actually be able to um, you know, create a clone of yourself. So if you die, you, you'll be able to come back and you'll have a lot more resources. So it, it is definitely easier if you go the easy way. The hard route, you don't get an oak sapling, so there's no chance of apples, a lot less bone meal and less ammo and no shell constructor. So we're gonna go the hard route because, well, why not? Okay, sifting dust will give you resources such as bone meal is one of the things that you can get out of sifting dust. There's a bunch of other things you can get out of it. Um, by claiming this reward, we're gonna get dirt. Now. You can create dirt um, by, uh, well, we'll get into creating dirt later. But what we want to use this first dirt that we have for is to make dirty water. So basically, uh, it's called drinking mud. So you can basically put a water bottle and you can make dirty water. Now you can drink this. Um, it's not as you know good as like cleaning water, have, having clean water. But what this pack shows us as well is you can basically take that dirty water and then you can put it in a furnace and you can purify it to get clean water. So from dirt you can get water and then you can purify it in a furnace to get clean water. So that's one way that we'll be able to make water to go forward in this pack. And there's a bunch of other ways. So we'll submit a water bottle to get our water, a cold water bottle um, and uh, some glass bottles as a reward. And so now we've done all the quests that we can up to this point. Now what I want to do, one, two, three, four, okay. So what I want to do is I want to start growing a tree. And I'm going to go with the birch sapling. At least that's the plan. And here's hoping we get lucky. I've got 11 bone meal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that took a lot of bone meal. Uh, at least it's a slightly bigger tree than normal, so that's okay. It doesn't look like I'm going to get two trees out of my bone meal. That's bad luck. Uh, at least I got one. In one of my tests, I didn't even get one with the 11 bone meal, and that's that's tough. Okay, so I need to grab the sifter out of here. They do provide you with a sifter and um, a crafting bench, so that's nice. Um, I'm going to convert all that. I need one, two, three, four. I need five sticks total, and I need one for a crook. So what a crook does is a crook allows you to crook the leaves. And what it basically allows you to do is um, it gives you a greater chance of getting a sapling um, in addition to giving you a slightly larger reach. So you can reach, I think, one block higher than you could normally just punching. So um, you want to get as many saplings as possible because you're going to be able to use these saplings um, to create water and dirt. Although I'm going to show you an even better way to do that shortly. Okay, and sadly that's really high. And the bonus here is this tree was big, so... And I got, uh, I got lucky and I did get a silkworm. Okay, so if you get lucky and you get a silkworm, um, you can... I'm gonna do one other thing here maybe. We'll see, let's see. I'm gonna use three more bone meal. Come on, get rid of these leaves here. Come on. Yeah, anyway. So, I'm gonna use three more bone meal. One, two, yes! I got lucky. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna infest this tree with the silkworm. I'm gonna steal some of this wood. I'm probably gonna leave it until later. Um, but this is this is good. I'm happy about this. I got enough bone meal now left over to make uh, the one item I wanna make. Plus, I will have, okay, I'm gonna need one more set of sticks, okay. Uh, I need to make patterns. So you can't make regular tools, or you can, but they have uh, one durability. Um, so you need to basically um, make uh, Tinker's Construct tools. 
Um, so two, three, I need a tool station, stencil table, and part builder. Let's put those all down here. Okay, I'm just gonna put them all right here. Stencil table, part builder, tool station. Okay, and one pattern for my shovel head. I'll make some other tools later. I don't have enough bone meal right now. So yeah, you can make you can make uh, tool parts out of bone and bone meal, which is really handy. Um, see, sometimes it doesn't show up. Just uh, re-click it in and it'll, it'll show up. It's a little bit of a bug in the system. So I can make a shovel, which is good, and I have one bone meal to be able to repair it so I can uh, at least dig a little bit more than uh, you know what I want. Okay, so I'm probably not going to get to dig a huge... Um, trench around my base like I want. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig basically just this uh, two wide trench around the opening of the ship. So hopefully all the mobs you know, come and fall in here. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to dig a couple of two deep holes in my trench and I'll show you why I'm going to do that in a little bit. Hopefully in the net in the morning you'll see. Um, I'm still uh, spiders are going to be an issue, and um, I'm not going to be able to fix the spider issue for a little while. So can't worry about that now, right? So the other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you clear the ship of dust so that no creatures other than spiders can get up on it. So you got to make sure that you have at least a two wide, uh, a two high wall all the way around, so that no uh, critters can get up. Other than spiders, you can't prevent them from climbing. Currently, hopefully, we'll be able to fix that in the future. Okay, so so far we're good here. I'm gonna. You want to try and stay as far away from the fire as you can. Um, you can uh, plug this up if you want. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I, I don't really care. It's not going to. It's not going to be too much of an issue for me. And now, really, I just want to try and get some dust. I want to get as much dust as I can before night sets, um, and then I just have to get back into the base. So, at some point, I'm going to have to get out and build a, a real wall and trench. Um, but yeah, just get as much dust as you can for the first night. Hopefully you have more than a stack. I didn't do great on time here, so I'm a little uh, disappointed in myself. Night is almost here. Okay, I'm gonna start making my way back now. I don't want I don't want to die a horrible death right off the bat. If I can make the jump, yes. Okay, so you can also break this glass. And the glass is a handy material for blocking off your base because you can see through it. I don't think mobs can see through it, so they can't see you, but you can see them and uh, you can see all the different mobs. So I have on your mini map, you can turn the mob radar on. I highly recommend it. It's pretty handy for seeing all, of, look, look at all of the mobs that are surrounding us now. And I forgot to plant a sapling. Oh no, I still have the tree out there. It's infested. So tomorrow morning, I'll be able to get a ton of string, which I'll be able to make a bed. And so at that point, I'll be able to sleep through the night and stuff. So that'll be really handy. Um, I'm going to fill up my camel pack with some water. And I got a decent amount of wood put you up there. Uh, I'm going to need you, one of you for tomorrow. And yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to start sifting a bunch of this dust that I have because sifting the dust is going to get me a bunch of materials. And what you can get out of sifting dust, uh, maybe I can show sifter, sieve. Okay, yeah, so uh, let's, so you can sift various things. Um, let's get to dust. You can sift lava. Interesting. 
Dragon egg, water, stone. Where's dust? Dust, okay. As you can see, these are all the things that I can get from sifting dust. You can get an egg or fish um, and a bunch of different uh, pulverized dust that you can turn into the various metals, also bone meal and stone. Now, what I need from the stone is by combining four stone, you make one cobble. Now, I need 24 of these stone chips so that I can basically make a furnace. And I'm going to need the furnace uh, to make a few items that I'll, I'll need. And I'm going to need 40 total of those stone chips to basically start my lava production and basically be in really good shape. I'm probably not going to get that out of the dust that I have right now, but I'm going to try sifting a, as much of this dust as I can tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in a few minutes. Once it's closer to morning, I'll cut back in the recording and I'll, I'll show you how many stone ships I got out of the uh, out of the night. So I'll see you in a few minutes. It's almost morning. I'm so close at this point. Really, I need two more stone ships, one more stone ship. I can make a furnace and this will be really handy um, because I can make a tool that's going to you know, really help me out if I can just get this furnace. So I'm going to definitely, oh I got it, I'm set and all the mobs are dying to the sun. Okay, but I can make my six. Okay, so you're like, eh, you can't make a furnace with only six. Well, you can make a slab furnace which is added by the mod X Nilo. And a slab furnace is like a half furnace. I can just place it down there. All the mobs are dying. Let me I'll be able to warm that up. I'm just going to fill up my... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and grab my needle gun because I'm going to need this to go outside. I'm going to grab the ammo. To arm your needle gun, you right click, place the ammo in. There's a few other types of ammo that you can use in your needle gun. So I'm going to put all of the stuff that I got from sifting in here. I'm actually going to hold on to the salt because I'm going to need that for a quest. And I didn't quite get through um, all the dust, but I did get the, the stuff that I wanted. Now, I want to repair my shovel because I'm going to need this to be repaired. But I want to, before I go outside, I want to make a weapon. So I need one more pattern. And I got enough bone meal from sifting to make it. So this is good. So I need to make an axe head. Okay. So there's two weapons I think that uh, are useful for making early on as a weapon. Um, one is a frying pan. This has knockback. So it will knock enemies back. Um, and that's handy and slows them. This Another one that's handy, which you're going to need to build anyway later on is the Matic and the Matic does the most damage it's the most damaging weapon that you can build early on so there's spiders on the roof they're gonna come for me hopefully I can kill the spiders and then take care of the other mobs that are alive in there come at me bro I know you're up there come on Okay, so I got the spiders. Okay, so an easy way to kill the mobs that are in your little trap is drown them in dust. Piece of cake. All of the drops that are in there get pushed to the top, and when they die, all the drops get pushed to the top, and it's a lot less danger. And there you go. Everything's killed. And I'll rebuild that before night again, unless I sleep. And now the other thing you can now do is wander around, pick up all the other drops that might be around, because um, you want as much stuff as you can get. Um, rotten flesh is going to be great um, for a variety of things. Um, initially, it's going to be great for food. And another thing that it's going to be good for is... Uh, you can convert rotten flesh into leather in this mod pack, which is going to be really handy for an item that I'm going to build at some point, fairly early on. So 
I don't really see any other items around. I think maybe I got everything. Okay. How did we do? Did we make a good haul? Yeah, we did all right. We didn't get a ton of bones, but uh, we did okay. We'll count it as a win. I don't know if there was anything up here. I think I got it. So did I get a spider eye? I did not. Did not get lucky. So that's a relatively easy and safe way uh, to, to kill off all the mobs. So uh, I'm going to crook all of the uh, leaves here. So when you crook leaves that have been infested by a silkworm, what you get is string. And then you can convert this string into wool, and then I'll be able to make a bed, which is great. The other thing that you get is you're going to get more silkworms. So you have a much greater chance of getting silkworms from an infested tree. Um, so you can basically keep repeating the process. So I'm actually I'm going to make another crook, so because I want to get as much of this as I can. Where'd that come from? Crazy. Um, I need a little bit more wood. Maybe I get lucky today. Oh, there's one other thing that I wanted to do. Hopefully I have enough. Did I get enough? Yes. Okay. Let's do this now. Okay, so I wanna I actually want to cook up this iron while I'm doing the rest of this. I don't know if three wood's gonna be enough. Let's make sure we got enough to make sure we get this. Oh, you know what I should have done? As part of my quest. I need to make a bone crook. I should have done that instead of making the wooden one. Oh well. Sometimes we fail. So one of the quests requires you to make a bone crook. So um, Bones are also useful um, for uh, a couple other things, which I will show you. Your mattock, which I've made, um, acts as basically a hoe. Um, not, it's, it's an okay shovel as well. Um, but it's it's an okay axe and it's a, a an okay hoe and uh, come on let me get the rest of this get the rest of the string all right I didn't have to use my needle gun but I got a bunch of string hopefully enough to make a bed yep and now I could work on defenses or I could work on wood. And I think my defenses are okay right now, as long as I'm happy with, oh, come on, there we go. So I can crook these leaves and get saplings. But a better way to go is basically to make shears. Okay, and the reason is when you shear leaves, you're still gonna get some saplings, which is good, but every time you shear a leaf, you get the leaf. And you can make dirt out of eight saplings or out of eight leaves. So you're going to get more bang for your buck using shears. So definitely make the shears as soon as you can. And, oh, I'm going to need food. A second, I got I to gotta go eat some food. I don't really have a lot of food. Um, and see, you get saplings. So let me just put you there. Let me grab these leaves. So there was a little bit of food in here. I'm going to eat a bit, bit, bit of beef jerky. I'm actually going to eat all the beef jerky. Um, this mod does add um, Spice of Life. And what Spice of Life does is it uh, has diminishing return on foods. So if you eat the same food over and over again, eventually it won't give you any um, hunger back. Um, however, the spice of life actually doesn't click in. I don't know if I don't have any food at the moment. Um, I'll show you that, but it doesn't click in for like 30 uh, things after you eat till it, until you eat like 30 things. Then spice of life will start kicking in. So you can pretty much eat whatever you want initially to try and survive, but eventually spice of life will kick in, and uh, yeah, you're gonna need to start eating a variety of foods, which adds an extra level of challenge to this whole pack. Okay, so. I want to get as many leaves as I can. Um, you can also uh, mulch string into dirt as well. So there's a lot of things you can mulch into dirt. Uh, rotten flesh, string, leaves, all sorts of food that you grow, which is scarce for us right now. So we're probably not going to do that. 
Oh yeah, keep going. Let's get lots of leaves. We'll be able to make lots of dirt. The other thing I want, how much wood? Do I, oh yeah, this is good. Keep going with the wood too. So I might be able to finish another quest, which will be really handy. I'll be able to finish a couple of quests tonight uh, with all this wood that I've been getting, so that's good. get that jumping is bad it will lower your hunger so try not to jump as much as you can um, sometimes you can't avoid it I'm running out of daylight but let's get as much wood as I can in leaves there we go my shears are gonna run out that's okay So I can make another set of shears or I can just crook the rest of the leaves. Get me saplings. Might, uh, I could infest another tree. I don't know that I want more uh, string. Um, but infesting the tree will give me the silkworms, which uh, in a pinch can be used as a food source. So that's handy. I probably should have just made another set of shears. Get some more leaves have the iron so let's do it can I get one more tree I can okay we are running out of day I got a bunch of wood. I'm going to leave the rest of the wood there. I'm going to plant the sapling. Hope I get lucky, get a growth. I'm going to try and get some uh, dust for some more sifting for this evening. Um, but what I'm going to do once... I'm not going to get too much here. I still got to uh, put in my little holes to trap mobs before night comes. Okay, night is almost here. Let's not dilly-dally too long. Oh, I am pushing it. No, I am really pushing it. No. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. I pushed it. Whew. Okay. So I got a ton of leaves. Wow, I did really good there. I got a bunch of wood. I got a bunch of mob drops. This is actually, I'm in pretty good shape right now. So what I want to do, first things first, I need to make a chest. Let's make one chest. Okay. I'm going to need some more chests eventually. But what I'm going to do is right here, I'm just going to put all of my mob drops in here. Anything that I can get from mobs, I'm going to throw in there. I'm going to cook one of these silkworms because it's actually a quest. I'm going to keep the rest for now. And I'm going, oh, I need one rotten flesh for now. Okay, so with one rotten flesh and two salt, you can make zombie jerky. Now, it's not very filling, um, but it's you know a way to make some quick zombie jerky. I can eat that; it'll give me half, you know, half a hunger back. Another thing that you can do with zombie jerky ooh, is you can hang it up on these drying racks, and I could make more of these if I wanted to get some more zombie flesh. Um, but I'm going to hang up three for now because I have the three, so I might as well. But by completing those quests here, um, I got salt, got rotten flesh, and I created... I'm going to get some zombie jerky, so that's good. So I can eat that. Mm, jerky. I'll just fill me up a bit. Yummy. Okay. And another quest, which I'm going to get right here. I cooked the silkworm, so I need to manually detect it. 
And that's gonna give me a rice seed. So this is the first thing that I'm gonna, food that I'm gonna be able to make. So that's handy. Oh man, so much noise out there. Okay, I'm running out of water, but, okay. I can make water by putting leaves or saplings in one of these transposers that I picked up at the beginning. Now this is one way that you can make water. However, it takes power. Okay, but one of the quests is to basically submit um, some water directly. And so the way that you submit liquids and other th items, manually submit them, you can submit them from your inventory, but liquids you'll have to like pipe, well, <laughs> pipe in. So the way that you can do this is I can bind a quest to my quest delivery system. So I would select the task, which is sapping the saplings, and then click it on this quest delivery system. So now this quest delivery system is is accepting stuff for this quest. Now you can pipe anything into this and it will it automatically disappears from the world. So if you haven't selected the quest and I started piping water into here, I would just be basically losing water. Um, so you know basically be careful when you do that stuff. I want to basically, oops, I'm gonna, I want my water to go, so I want this water to go out the right side into the quest delivery system, and I need 10 leaves to make one bucket of water. So I, I could use leaves to make the bucket of water, or you can do one other thing. Do I have any other? I, I don't have any other. I'll do it with leaves. So you could take a water bottle and just uh, pipe that out, and that would give you one bucket of water as well. I just have cold water bottles. So actually what I'm gonna do with the cold water bottles, um, because I'm, I'm running out of water right now, I'm gonna heat up one of these. Uh, maybe I'll do two, I'll do all three. I'm gonna convert these to regular water bottles. And then that way, I'll have some water bottles. Hopefully I can get both of them, all three converted. And so now I can, oh yeah, I am running out of water. So water is not going to be too much of an issue for too much longer, hopefully. Oh, I didn't have enough, huh? Yeah, just cook away. Okay, I should probably have enough power in there now. So all that's going in, as you can see, I'm up to 60, 70%. So it takes 10 leaves to make one bucket of water in the QDS. Uh, I need to make a stone hammer. I don't have enough stone at the moment to do that. And I don't have enough stone to do all this at the moment. So once this water quest is done, I'll actually get some water out of it. But what I need to build is I need to build some barrels. And to build barrel wooden barrels, I need some slabs. I guess I'll build two for now. Now, I'm going to put them here and here. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I'm actually going to set them up. So, you put eight leaves or eight saplings um, into these barrels. They'll start composting. As you can see, they're composting. Once they've completed composting, that will turn into dirt. I can turn that dirt into wa dirty water, and then I could cook it and make clean water out of it. Okay, so my quest is done here. So I can claim the reward, and I now have some extra water bottles. So that'll be handy. I can probably put them in. Yeah, I can put them in already. I'm going to need them. So my water is okay currently. <laughs> I'm alive! Okay, so it's 97, 98, 99. It is now dirt. So now I can get some dirt. And I can keep doing this manually, but what I'm gonna do is I am gonna automate this very, very quickly here because you know manually doing this stuff is kind of a pain in the butt. So I think this is a good first start to crash landing. I hope you enjoyed. I've survived an entire day and into the night. For the rest of this night here, I'm going to compost some dirt. I'm going to sift some more dust because I need more stone. 
Um, I could sift the dirt to get some more stone. Um, I may do that. Um, but what I'll do is I'm going to wrap it up here because we're sort of running over time. And next episode, we'll come back and we'll automate our dirt production. And hopefully next time we'll make a cobble gen. So till next time, Delgar out.